Hey guys, welcome back to Reserved Investments on YouTube. And it's nice to take a break because you see, today you got Jim Fresh Sean. I know Shower Fresh Sean is a much cooler guy, the way that he styles his hair, the way that he sometimes wears like a pendant or he wears a nice clean shirt and he looks really spiffy for you guys. I'm sorry, for this video, you are stuck with Jim Fresh Sean. You get the lesser variant of the two. I know it's horrible, but we are gonna be talking about a very interesting topic in this particular video. Now, in the year 2020, in the year 2021, who had grading VHS, Blu-ray, and DVD movies on their bingo cards? If you did, please block that square off. Most likely it's right next to the square that says the government's gonna give you free money, which is catty corner from the square that says there's gonna be massive price appreciation in pretty much every asset class across the board, whether it's stocks, bonds, mutual funds, ETFs, cryptocurrency, gold, silver, real estate, antiques and collectibles. In fact, I'm supposed to be bidding in the central states coin and currency auctions that are hosted by Heritage Auctions that are going on right now while I'm filming this video. If you're wondering why I'm filming this video instead, it's because after seeing nutbags pay $5,000 for a coin that they could have got a year ago for $2,500 or less, I pretty much turned the auction off and said, you know what? My money's better spent elsewhere. So I do want to put that into this video as at least a caveat to help you guys out if you are bidding in a lot of these asset classes in the collectibles marketplace, whether it's coins, currency, antiques, comic books, video games, toys, Pokemon cards, Magic the Gathering cards, vintage sports cards, whatever your thing is, keep in mind right now there is massive price appreciation occurring in these markets where every Timmy, every Poindexter out there, every Kimmy out there is pretty much sitting at home going, you know what? I have this money sitting over here, or maybe they don't have any money over there and they have a credit card, which is dangerous still. And they're going to bid up these items to the stratosphere thinking that prices are only going to go higher from here. I'm telling you guys, there at some point, is going to be a correction in these markets. Now, I can't tell you if it's gonna happen one month from now, three months from now, six months from now, six years from now. I don't have a crystal ball. But what I'm just telling you is, please believe me when I tell you this. Be very careful if you are buying collectibles for the long term right now. There most likely will be a correction in these markets. But we've seen a lot of this before. We've seen the rise of certain grading companies that have come along, manipulated the market. We've seen the rise of graded Pokemon cards, the popularity of graded Magic the Gathering cards. And now we have a new kid on the block that I am very cautious of. There is a company called investmentgrading.com. Matter of fact, if you want to go to the website and check it out, it's www.investmentgrading.com that is coming on the scene pretty strong out of Los Angeles, California. And not only are they grading video games, certain video games, not all, but they are also grading VHS, Blu-ray, and DVD movies. Now, there is one caveat here. For them to grade it, it has to be factory sealed. So unlike Wattic Games, somewhat unlike VGA, who has the qualified grade, if you send them something complete in the box, they're not gonna be able to grade it. So they are pretty much geared towards grading items that are only factory sealed. And what's kind of making this interesting is they are focusing primarily on VHS, Blu-ray, and DVD movies at present time. So now you get to go to the Goodwill store and you get to come across a factory sealed copy of Batman on VHS from 1989. You can send it to them, they can grade it, and you could potentially try to sell it for $500,000, $5,000. All you gotta do is manipulate the market a little bit because this is a new thing that we haven't seen before. Now, I've said this before, I have nothing against third-party grading. As a matter of fact, if you are investing in collectibles, if you are investing in antiques and those particular items can be third-party graded by a reputable and well-known and established third-party grading company, I would try to urge you, if you are trying to invest in these markets, to get your items or go after items that are graded. Third-party grading is not the enemy here. So I want to be very clear in my assessment here. 
The problem that I see with a market like this is the overall market for collectible factory sealed movies is extremely niche. If we are looking at market caps and sizes of various collecting categories, I'm going to say something that's going to shock some of you, but video game collecting blows away the market for collectible movies at present time. And I really don't see collectible movies really becoming a thing. I think that there's people that want to make it a thing, but throughout my consulting career in the antiques and collectibles trade, I can tell you there are valuable movies out there. There's movies in VHS format that do have collectability and value. There's movies on Blu-ray format, DVD format that do have collectability and value. But overall, it is a niche market when we compare it to other markets in the overall antiques and collectibles trade. Now, what concerns me most about these particular items that are being graded by investmentgrading.com at present time, some of them are being seen being bidded up on eBay for very sizable sums. And this really has the red flags going up for me to the point where, wow, this is almost like a Chinese communist parade, if you know what I mean, if you get the analogy. Um, a lot of these items are not established on the overall secondary market as of yet. So when I see a new grading company grading items and the items are already selling for a premium, I'm a little bit taken back. I mean, let's be realistic here. This company, to my knowledge, did not butter up a lot of auction companies like Wada Games did so that we would all believe that certain great video games are and can be worth five or six figures at present time. And to be fair, they are selling for five or six figures. It's verified. So that market, there are people operating in that market that are paying six figures for graded video games at present time. And you know my commentary on that. I just think it's a little bit frothy at present time. We all need to take a chill pill. We all need to relax and we need to see where that market's gonna go. Some of you don't like that advice. Some of you think that you're getting in on the ground floor. I have more videos planned for you guys to show you why it is a bad idea overall to invest in that market, unless if you're going after the top one or 3% of that market, most of you are not. So that's why I wanna apply some breaks here and just tell you to be cautious in that market. This market, in my opinion, is even worse because we don't know what it's gonna do. There's a lot of third-party grading companies out there, guys, that do come to market and then they fizzle out. They just don't have the clout to either be operating in the market that they chosen or they don't have the credibility that we would like as collectors. And as a result, collectors tend to steer clear of companies that don't have the best reputation in the trade. Now, at this particular point, with investment grading being too new, it's impossible for me to give you an assessment of one way or the other. But what I will tell you about, when I see some of the items that they're grading selling for a premium already on eBay, this literally causes me to be very cautious as to how I analyze this market going forward. Because again, I'll say this again, just so that you guys are clear. I really believe there are people out there that wanna manipulate this market and make it a thing, especially if you're somebody who is one of the kooks out there that has been hoarding factory sealed VHS movies, factory sealed DVD movies, factory sealed Blu-ray movies, and you have a storage unit full of this stuff, obviously it benefits you highly if there is a stable secondary market coming on the scene, even if it is speculative. Because let's be honest, the people that are catering right now to Wada Games, they don't much care about the overall secondary market. Otherwise, they would have never came into the market and allowed Wada to manipulate it the way that they did by stating, hey, we just graded this item. We also appraise this item to be worth X number of dollars. And we're also representing the seller of this particular item that we just graded for them. Now that's a conflict of interest to most people who operate in the antiques and collectibles trade. And I wanna be very clear before I go any further on that statement. WADA does make an excellent product and they offer an excellent service. So I know that that can be confusing to some of you when some of you guys reach out to me for consulting and I tell you, hey, you're sitting on a factory sealed Pokemon game for the Game Boy Advance from the 1990s. If you're gonna get it graded, go through WADA games. And a lot of you guys scratch your head and you say, well, wait a minute, Sean, aren't you against video game grading? Aren't you against the market at present time? And I have to tell you guys, no, 
I'm against the way the market came to be. The fact that the market manipulators got their foot in the door first, established grading as a thing, and are now trying to convince you that you need to park money here over the long term. Now, to be fair, video game grading is here to stay, whether you love it or hate it. The market's not going to crash per se. None of these items are going to go to zero anytime soon. There is most likely, though, going to be at some point a correction in that market. And believe it or not, there was already several corrections that have occurred in a lot of other collectibles that are geared towards third-party grading over the years. Even CGC comic books are not immune. If you go back to 2003, 2004, 2005, and you look what certain horror comic books were selling for, graded CGC 9.4, 9.6 condition, and now you look at their prices, a lot of them have flatlined and declined in value significantly. If you want me to name names, Go look at a price history of Tower of Shadows 1 in CGC 9.4, 9.6 condition. Go look at a price history of Chamber of Darkness 1 in CGC 9.4, 9.6 condition. When that book first started to be graded back in the early 2000s, copies of that book in 9.4 were seen selling for $500, $600 repeatedly. It wasn't until people started to get the point that comic book grading was here to stay and they started to send in their collections. And then we realized, oh my gosh, look at how many copies of Chamber of Darkness 1, Tower of Shadows 1, and CGC 9.4 and 9.6 are out there. So that's what happens to a lot of these collecting markets. They do get oversaturated. That's why I tell you guys, take your time if you are getting involved in any of these markets. Now, if you're one of the people at the forefront of this, you think that you can make money grading your 1989 factory sealed copy of Batman and you want to send it to them, I can't tell you how accurately they grade because at this particular point in time, I have never handled any of their products as of yet. I am probably going to try to get something graded from them so that at least I have an example to go on, much like I did, if you guys recall, some of my earlier videos where I talked about Wattic Games, you guys saw some loose cartridges in the background that some of you guys ran me through the mud in the comment section asking me why I would grade those particular items. Well, ironically, two unique trends came out of that. Number one, I wanted to see how Wattic Games grade it. And number two, all those games that you saw in the background, I sold for a significant premium on eBay because we are in a massive speculative euphoria surrounding a lot of these items at present time. Now, it's going to be interesting to see what develops here. To give you guys a little bit of a history here, this company is grading factory sealed items only, as I already said, and they are grading standard size cases of 4K, Blu-ray, DVD, and or steel books that do not have a depth of one inch or more. So any of these items that pretty much are in that criteria can be graded. For video games, they are grading, believe it or not, Game Boy, Game Boy Advance, Game Boy Color, GameCube, Nintendo 64, Nintendo 3DS, Nintendo DS, and Nintendo Entertainment System games. They are also grading Engage. Uh, Nintendo Switch, PC games that come in the small box, PC Jewel Case, PlayStation 1, PlayStation 2, PlayStation 3, PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5, of course, PSP, Super Nintendo, and Wii, Wii U, Xbox, Xbox 360, and Xbox One. So they are grading a plethora of factory sealed video games as well. Now, would I be comfortable sending them a factory seal video game to grade when we already have WADA, when we already have VGA out there? No, I would not. But overall, I would like to send them at least a movie, a DVD, a VHS, and a Blu-ray just to see how they do grade because this is an interesting concept. I just want to caution you guys, though, that this market is much too new. Please do not go crazy and send them a whole collection of VHS type titles to grade at present time, thinking you're going to sell them for a fortune on eBay. I have no proof as to what the market is doing organically when it comes to demand for this stuff. Because right now, again, as I said, I really think that there are people trying to make this the thing and they're going on eBay and they're bidding up these particular items to new heights just to attract interest to this particular grading company. Now, 
I will say, I am gonna revisit this topic over the next year because we do have to have more of a discussion on this if this is going to be a new trend in the trade. And at least a year from now, we will have some type of idea as to where this is going and if the market is being manipulated. And that is most important, guys. Whenever you see a new collecting category come into play like this, you always have to think, okay, is this organic? Or is this extremely speculative? And is it being driven by market manipulators and market makers? This is a question that I always pose to you guys who tell me that, Sean, great at video games are going to be the next big thing. What is it that I tell you guys? Is it being governed by true collectors? Or is it being governed by speculators, market manipulators, and market makers? And if you really ask yourself that question, you're going to come to the conclusion, well, you know, he's right. When we look at great at video games, right now, it does seem to be a little bit frothy at present time. I might want to take a wait and see attitude and see how this plays out. This is the same advice I'm going to give you for this particular company. You know, in another video I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be talking about grading companies that came and went just through either bad management or because they weren't entirely honest or because collectors just had no interest in the product that they were grading. So I'm going to leave it at that. These are my thoughts on this particular topic. If there's something that I didn't cover that you thought I should have went in deeper dive in this particular video, let me know in the comment section below. I can always do a part two to this particular talking point. I think this is a very interesting concept, but I do not have a lot of confidence in this or the company at present time. It's just too new to assess. Thanks for watching and have a great night.